to whom it may concern. Hi, my name is Blake. I'm in grade four. I go to Armour Heights Public School. I was assigned a project to pick a charity that touched my heart. I chose this charity because my mom had melanoma twice. For my activity, I got funny hats and my class decorated them for some protection. protection. I, really I really enjoyed, enjoyed doing, doing this charity, charity and, and learning melanoma. about melanoma. Sincerely, Blake, Sincerely, Blake McIsaac. We get letters like this from across the country on a weekly basis. We also get phone calls, emails, and inquiries from friends, family members, patients, and caregivers. I'm a 13-year survivor myself of melanoma, and I do understand the desperate times and the need for support and caring that patients require during this diagnosis. We provide funding support for public awareness, education, advocacy, and research. It is our vision to increase awareness, ease the burden, provide support, and ultimately to find a cure. We believe in the strength of our collective patient voices. We do our best to give patients the support, information, and access they need to fight this battle. My father was diagnosed with melanoma three months ago. We didn't know where to turn. We had so many questions. It was utterly devastating. We went to the Melanoma Network of Canada website and instantly got answers to our questions about the diagnosis, what we should do, support groups. It was great to have the resource there for us. My name is Katie and my boyfriend passed away from melanoma and it was the hardest thing I've ever had to go through. Knowing that there were other people out there going through the same thing that I was gave me the support and courage to help my boyfriend through his journey with melanoma. Being diagnosed with melanoma is indescribable. It's scary. It's the ultimate reality check. The Melanoma Network of Canada was there for me in a time of need, and I'm there for them now. Anytime you're diagnosed with a disease like melanoma, it's a lonely feeling. Uh, no matter how many people you have around you, it's an individual disease, and it's hard for other people to understand what you're going through. And the Melanoma Network of Canada is there. They have been there, they have done that before. They're there not only to give you their support, but also their friendship. The Melanoma Network of Canada um, introduced me to uh, doctors that spoke in plain English, plain terms that I could understand. Uh, they introduced me to volunteers that I, I felt a connection with. Uh, the volunteers that I felt a connection with made me feel more comfortable, uh, made the whole process easier. It was scary enough. I just needed information that was going to be given to me in a plain manner um, with a little bit of hope mixed in uh, by people that looked like they might be uh, fun. And that's what I found at the Melanoma Network. Melanoma is one of the fastest growing cancers worldwide. It is one of the top seven most frequent cancers in Canada. We're here for you and are happy to help you. Together, we can raise awareness and help in preventing future cases of melanoma. For more information or to make a donation, please visit our website at melanomanetwork.ca.